when I was, what was I? I was, I don't know, 10, something like that. And I remember thinking, girl, you got a mother that's, she just treats you like a baby. Cause that's what you do for a baby. You know, you lay out, she was, she used to go and be like, what do you want to wear today? And lay out the clothes for her. And she wants to be combing her hair and <laughs> running her a bath and helping her choose her knickers and all this. I'm like, mm, yeah, look at it. That's what you do for, for a baby or a toddler when you're dressing them, teaching them how to get dressed for school. After the age of about four or five, I ain't supposed to be knocking on the door for you like that. If I tell you to go and brush your teeth, you need to go and do it. I ain't supposed to be standing over you because I've taught you how to do these things. Well, like I said, that part of it is weird because I don't think a parent (laughs) needs to make sure the bath water is not. I can understand them making sure it's not too hot, so don't get me wrong. But it's not like I'm like spreading out the rubber duckies and making sure that (laughs) it's not just once in a while. It's not like when she's sick. You know, if your child is sick, you might want to, you know, baby them a little bit, maybe, depending on how old they are. Right, right, right. once in a blue moon this was every day no nah, there's something wrong. <laughs> there day. was something going on in that house that wasn't oh, kosher okay. oh, no. was it? i just thought it was weird i was like mm, you, that's not good what are you gonna do when you have to go off to college or university or something you, you no, you're too spoiled basically she was she was spoiled well, what yeah. happens when you're when you have your own significant other and you're you need to take care of them or you need to help them, you know, and you, you've got a <laughs> life. And then and then what do you say? Well, my mother always used to draw my bath for me. And you're 30. Yeah. <laughs> it's you like, mm-hmm, yeah, don't expect that for me. <laughs> unless unless I'm going to join you in it now. That's a whole new well, But yeah, but that's that's what I'm talking about. That's part of, <laughs> you know, being together and, you know, yeah, being, that's a whole you know, new no. but that's not, but a, you know. Like I would never expect, you know, my wife unless she if she's ill, yes, I'm going to make sure she has everything. If they're sick and you want to look after them and obviously they're a bit weak and they can't do for themselves, that's a whole different thing. Right. But I'm talking she was perfectly fine. There was no wrong with that and it was every day her mother would go in and wake up Ah, wake up now. It's time to wake up. I'm thinking listen, Martha's mother, when she wanted to be dark on you, she would just come in your room and just fling open the curtains and (laughs) I'm lucky, I'm surprised she didn't dash water on me. Let me just say it like that because she liked to throw she she wasn't very um calm <laughs> <laughs> so i'm surprised she did that's what on me but you know oh my goodness well she was a more direct she was yeah, a more direct she mother more than probably, probably nobody mate you you get left to your own devices up there people so I, I and before we go to break i have to ask this question um, carol this link seven now this is something for you guys to think about because i'm curious because as far as i'm concerned this is a little bit of a hot potato do you agree because I don't think this would fly in the African-American stroke black community or anyone like that. I don't think that we would shy away from disciplining our child wherever we were if they did something to upset us. So this is a, the, the link seven. Modern parents avoid discipline for fear of upsetting their children. Uh, now, nah, look. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, uh-uh. if you did something and your mommy wants you to have a whooping, you're going to get it whether you outside McDonald's or whether you in the house. Yeah, I'm, I'm just putting it like this. I can't even talk about that now because it'll take too long. Um, <laughs> but that's what I want to go to break with because I want you to formulate your answer in a clear and concise manner without blowing your top. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to blow your gasket. Because <laughs> I know that uh-oh, that's not going to fly, people. It's just going to go. So we are about to take a short break. And again, another song that we're going to go into break with. Woo, child, you better be good after this. <laughs> Renee and Angela, I'll be good. That's going to be your mantra after your, your, your parents beat you to within an inch of your life. I'm going to be good. But you don't want to get beat like that again. That's getting jacked up. <laughs> okay, you said after you get beat, you need to have I'll be good to you playing in your head about your yeah, parents. Thank you. <laughs> Behave yourself in the future. So you know that, uh uh-uh, them type of beating, I don't want to take that again. So, (laughs) on that note, people, (laughs) we are going to break. (laughs) And we are going to be back on our side after this. Enjoy. Hi, this is Avani. You're tuned in to the Ask Avani Show podcast on the Get Global Network. 
Hello, 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 and welcome back, people. You are listening to the Ask Avani Show here on Song Metro Radio. Woo! Good afternoon. Ah, just in case you have just joined us, where have you been? You have missed today's show because we've been having a lot of fun with today's show topic, which is what does society think about the parenting techniques of different cultures? Are there stereotypes or are some things true? And have you ever been scared to tell your parents something? Now, before the break, hey, Rose. <laughs> I asked you, <laughs> what do you think about the link that we were putting out? Modern parents avoid discipline for fear of upsetting their children. Now, you said you had some thoughts on that. Uh, Are you caring yeah. to share? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the politically correct world that... Uh-oh. And that's something I guess I need to find out from people that are in some other countries. I know we're listening to some people that have been listening in, in Germany all day today. And then, you know, people in the United States have been on. <laughs> we have this thought process that you, if you make your child too angry with you because you're disciplining them, yeah. you, what's wrong with that? I'm not my son's brother i'm not my son's friend really yeah. i'm not his yeah. friend i'm his father Some people say that parents should be fair. i'm like no your parent first right i mean you can't be your i can't be my son's best friend and i'm yeah. 30 years older than he is sorry that you mean later on in life you'll get on as friends obviously because he's an adult by then but even that way it's a different thing i wouldn't expect my son in college for me to go hang out with him and go you know doing stuff he does with his friends now even when he gets older yeah we'll probably go do some things and and and, you know you would but still i can see you know yeah they more of an adult you know out of college with a job you know i'm still his father and i can sit around and talk to him and we'll talk about different things and there may be more of a closer friendship but i'm still my mother's still my mother period that's That's just the way it is it's like when i talk to her there are certain words she never will hear out of my mouth (laughs) because you know you get it out of respect but it's out of respect too i know i'm old enough to say them but it's because i respect her i wouldn't say them in front of her and even some of my older you know one of my older sisters you know it's it's how you treat them is how they and they expect to be treated a certain way also they expect to be respected but there is nothing other than really being abusive to one of my children that i feel i couldn't say you know i'm not going to abuse them i'm not going to embarrass embarrass them in public (laughs) unless they need it now well now see that that was the question because i I was dying to know would you restrain yourself if you thought i am gonna whoop you and i don't mind where we are you need it (laughs) would you restrain or would you just say you know what you need this and you're gonna get it and you're gonna get it now well it's based (laughs) it's based on how the the, my little people as i called them they had an understanding there was a look that would be transferred between (laughs) you you know there's a look and so if that look happened if you Uh-oh. continued, you there was a problem, oh, which yeah. meant, yeah, there was going to be consequences after the look yeah. happened yeah, the because look. you knew I gave you the look. <laughs> the look. People, the look. If you grew up with the look, oh, oh you know, uh, you better stop, cease, and desist right now because after the look, it's on. <laughs> you you in it. big trouble. Oh, my God. But it comes down I to just, respect at that point because <laughs> as they get older if they if you continue to not want to upset your children and yeah. you continue to give them more and more and more rope they are going to do some things in public that are really out of whack and really it becomes my fault at that point if i haven't well, if i haven't reined them in before they yeah. did what they did um, it's my fault that they acted out in the way they did. Oh, absolutely! Because as you said, you're the parent, and I mean, oh my God, my 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 um my foster mother was um she was uh, from uh, from Guyana, and she used to have some sayings that used to make me laugh. As you said, the look was part of it, part of the package. Okay, so the look was there, and then there was also things that she would just be looking at you, and it was like, like almost like a sort of you know stage whisper type thing. Don't make your eyes make your hand look shame. As in, don't you do anything that's going to get you in it. Because mm. <laughs> if I find out that you did X, Y, Z, I know you was looking and you wasn't thinking. And then your hands went off and did something that you shouldn't have been doing. 
<laughs> so that was her way of, you know, saying, uh uh-uh, uh, don't you make your eyes make your hand. Right? Don't do it. <laughs> well, you see, that there's other things also. My mother had the ability, she knew, uh, there was a certain stage that I had gotten to, probably when I was in the sixth or seventh grade <laughs> level in the, in the States. I was as tall as my mother was. <laughs> And so she still would discipline us. And there were still times when she needed to get our attention physically. But that was a pinch. As she, she would basically pinch your arm or your stomach or what. If you were within, uh, you know, distance of her, she yes. would always pick a time when either you forgot or when, yes. you know, she would make sure she didn't, you know, you, you wouldn't know she was upset until she got close to you. And um, that pinch would be like, you, well, you know, Star Trek with Spock with the Vulcan, the whatever. What was the thing that Spock would do and pinch the, the um, you know, the when he pinch your shoulder and knock you out? <laughs> I forgot what it's called now. Uh, yeah, they they do a move on you, and it and it sort of just sort of paralyzes you. Exactly. Well, but she would pinch you, and the the pain would be so excruciating <laughs> that it would get your attention. And so I had that. I didn't pinch my sons, but I would. I had a pressure point thing with when I was holding their hand. Yeah, if there was something where they were either tugging or getting out a little out of control, I could apply <laughs> some pressure yeah. to the hand well, and squeeze it. And, well, you uh, know, Link, hey, I, I, I had to put that picture in, right? The child getting his ears pulled. Yep. Because <laughs> I know. I'm sure there's parents who will just grab their child by the ears. Can you imagine that, though? Grabbing your child by the ears and just pulling them like, come on, dad, you just better stop your foolishness. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, well, I have to ask you this. Have you ever had a toddler? Oh, my God. See, I've seen, there's adverts about this i've seen where the toddler just it's like say you go to the supermarket or something and the toddler just decides it doesn't matter whether it's a terrible twos or not they just decide to fling themselves on the on the ground in the middle of public <laughs> again that did not happen in my universe <laughs> with my sons I'm like, i've never seen anything like it because i know that i could never have done that i'm like uh, uh, what fling yourself and start creating you must be on something child <laughs> it now because you're gonna get it well, you, that's, oh my god those are things that i those are things i call one timers no. they happen one time and then they will never do it again <laughs> now what would you do if your child just suddenly decided to create in the aisle like i'm not going there well, create a just, scene oh man <laughs> one timer i'm just telling you because i would make sure that the people around me knew because of the force that i would spank that bottom that it wouldn't be happening again. And, and the other part about it is my children didn't get disciplined every five minutes physically. I didn't have it to her, which I think is another problem that you have with parents. If you're forever hitting them and slapping at them, and, and if you're constantly applying corporal punishment, it's not effective. No. <laughs> like you said, it starts with the look. Then you apply the pressure if it gets to the spanking you know you done something bad you better run yeah you're on another <laughs> level if, yeah. if if i'm spanking you you're on a whole <laughs> different level <laughs> yeah but like you said if some parents are constantly spanking their kids just for every little thing it don't mean nothing then and they're like oh whatever you can't do nothing to me because i know you're gonna do that anyway and that's not it doesn't even hurt no more <laughs> that's the, they start talking back at link 10 what are you going to do when your kids are talking back to you Ooh. <laughs> and that's the whole thing about the the different cultures as you've looked at you know in different cultures as you mentioned if if i am in a, a um, one of our muslim countries um there's a different culture if i'm in india there's a different culture and respect if i'm in asia there's a different culture and respect and then you get to you know latin america or africa there's a different culture and there's a the person that was in Africa that was playing a joke on his on his father, he knew there was possibility of some mortal harm to be done. <laughs> he didn't know it was going to come so soon, though. Right. <laughs> but that culture, he out and then he came back. <laughs> exactly. But the culture knows, and so my sons had an understanding. <laughs> There were lines, and I never really worried about them getting completely out of control because, again, I fashioned their life. They knew the levels, and they knew to respect people, and et cetera. But one of the biggest accomplishments that I had, and it was a proud moment, was my sons would say, don't call my daddy. 
<laughs> if they got to the point to where they were doing something and they knew that, oh my goodness, yeah. just uh, I know I'd messed up, but don't call uh-oh. my dad. That it was a a sense of pride to me yeah. because <laughs> it meant that shame. I'm gonna get it. And please don't call him. Please don't tell him. <laughs> and it stopped them from doing things. And so for me, that was for me, it was a good thing because they did have lines they would never cross because they knew crossing that line meant not only that they may have to you know i never worried about you know illegal things but crossing certain lines they knew